Jamaica goes from one extreme to the next. So while you have the most churches, you have the most bars. People live from one extreme to the other and therefore they express themselves that way. Music is life and it is expressive. They express through bad times and them express when they feel good. It speaks to your intellect and stirs your emotion. Whenever we're down or happy, the first thing we turn to is music. It empowers us, it gives us purpose again. So I just think it coming from back in the days when music was our only way of escaping from our struggles. musicians recording live and so on that hasn't been done a lot this experience was totally different everybody went down one time and either one take or we take take one or take two you had to be spot on you know there was no room for mistakes your love lifting me higher than I've ever been lifted before of course if mistakes went down it was part of the vibes to it I mean Sometimes perfect recording is not like the best thing. Like the good old days. <laughs> my third, second part, or, and editing and so on, so it, we threw away that. Bass, alto, <laughs> soprano, <laughs> you name it, that girl does. If you give her something to sing, she's gonna sing it. Everybody went in the studio, vibe off of each other. That situation was like that even with Coxon. That's the vibe with Jackie Me Too Scatterlights and those set of musicians. You can't do it like that because uh, you are going to have leakage, the mic now go work, better you do it the regular way. Everybody together, you, you get this vibe where it sounds alive. I don't ever can curse anybody than this. <laughs> But I said this girl can't sing no rust plant. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sherida. Sherida Sharp, a part of Diana Rutherford's project. I helped to guide what I thought the music, the vibe the music was sending me. It was a group effort. 
between Diana and the other vocalist. I need a shelter. I need a shelter. Mm -hmm. I need a shelter. All right, ready? One, two. I need a shelter. All right, come in, I'm gonna hear you. One, two. I need a shelter. Oh yeah, it yeah. works. Harmonies don't have to be one, three, five, seven. They don't have to be traditional. My name is Desi Jones. Drummer. I've been playing from the age of nine. I've played with a lot of um, Jamaica's best musicians, Muta Baroka, Barrington Levy, Carlin Davis, many of them, Dennis Brown, Freddie McGregor, everybody. I got the musicians together and um, set the rehearsals and all of that. My name is Kenroy Mullins, a.k.a. Short Man, Short Dan. Fire gates, I really started in church from the age of 12. Then I went to Edna Malley College. Well, I'm a guitarist for Zaga Zoban, being a man. Greetings, I'm Stingray. Started learning music at Alpha Boy School. Joined Weedy People Band, primary backup band for Dennis Brown. I left and joined Ziggy Marley. I've recorded with Lauren Hill, Miss Education album. I was a trumpet player along with Dean Fraser and Number Robinson. The last time. Huh? The last time look at Prophet Active. Yeah, yeah, no worries. The songs were already composed by Sherkan. My name is Roman Schiff, but people in Jamaica know me as Shuriken. I'm from France and I moved to Jamaica in 2003. I composed the music and some well-trained musicians played over. He's responsible for all of the music, for creating the music on the album. We just had to give it our interpretation. Roman created Shuriken, <laughs> created specific sound for the album and then I wrote to these rhythms as well. So we did the demos and then we called different people. Putting the band together was the most difficult part of it. and Ivy and I was a part of Diana's album doing background vocals. This experience was very new for me because it's the first time I'm ever doing something like this, especially with Diana, working with her in this caliber. I didn't want to cheer, I didn't want to say. Some of the candles were 15 minutes, but I reached my cheese. So it's like, come. They never see nobody here. These are some better days. But they must be telling me how to feel about my head. Hi, my name is Marvelyn Rutherford. I'm Diana's mom. I realized that Diana could sing from a very tender age. Seven, maybe eight. 
Then I would sing around the community, church functions, weddings, funerals. A friend of her dad, Paul Hamilton, took her to audition for um, Tasty's competition when she was nine years old. Um, she won that competition, age 10. And I, I think today she's still the youngest person to win that competition. This is at a concert down in Augustown, and we put her up on stage. Fatis from Exterminator was Sizzler's producer at the time, and he saw Diana, took her into the studio, and she did some recording for him. A very great performance, I would say a scintillating performance, and, and to see where she's at now, and the level where she really took it, um, her own talent, yeah, she made us proud. I can remember seeing her in her school uniform, and her mother was there, you know what I mean? Every step of the way, if Diana was at the studio, I was there. I, Diana was never alone, at no time. So you know, can't say I'm one of Diana's biggest fans, probably the biggest fan of Diana. Not just her mom, but her fan. Lewis, keyboard player, organist, pastor picnic, pastor son, started on a little two active keyboard, my dad brought it home, say, I tried using one finger on it, he said, no, try two, and use the two fingers, makes a pick sense out of nonsense the same night, then I went to church and saw this guy, Nigel Hutchinson playing and just look at his finger position I went home and did the same thing and the rest is history. Myrna Haig is the wife of my band, my first band leader Sonny Bradshaw, the man who introduced me to jazz. My name is Myrna Haig, I'm a singer. I made my first album at Studio One with, with Coxon in, in the, in the mid-70s, an album called um, Melody Life. My mom brought her to me um, for voice lessons. She was very shy, she was very emotional and cried a lot. But the voice was always there, and the desire was always there. Um, I've known her for quite some time, but I knew her father before. Her father um, sang with my husband's band before that, so I kind of have known the family for a while. Michael was a musician, vocalist. Song for all my life, Rhythm Kings, Sonny Bradshaw, Light Park, Sang with the People, Fab Five. Travel around the world about two times. I'm with Gregor Isaac, cause he's opening up. Diana family grew me as a youth in the community. Sir Rutterford grew us all as children in the community, playing on his sound and all those stuff. So I'm a well um, close friend to the family and you know the family strive. Michael is, was, was, was the Sonny Bradshaw 7 um, singer. That was like a musical academy, it was like a university of music. God bless his soul. A whole lot of greats have passed through that band. I was the youngest at the time in the 80s. You show me one First time we record a song together, we have sung together on stage or appeared on the same show, but we never ever did a song together. My father is a very instrumental person in terms of the development of my career, so it was a very special moment, emotional moment for me to sing with him. Ha <laughs> ha
He has bequeathed his own talent to his daughter. I have watched her, her voice grow. She's developing a style of her own. But the voice is there, the voice is strong, the voice is powerful, um, her breathing is good. Um, there's, I, I told her early that she had a little touch of Edith Piaf. Siobhan Clayton is the name, singer, musician, arranger, um, songwriter. Um, all my life been singing from about six years old, singing in church. After high school, went to work at um, Ashe. That's when I met Diana. And then after that, I went to Edna Mali. Diana went to Edna Mali as well. I was at high, in high school. I never knew him then. But when I saw him on stage, man, I was just blown away. And then I had the opportunity to meet him again in Ashe at the end of my high school years. <laughs> As a kid, just as Diana is now. Diana is very um, self-opinionated. She is very stubborn. <laughs> and when she holds on to something, if she know she's right, she's right. And she's determined. Diana is a very ambitious young lady. Nothing is too far for her to reach. If she wants that star, she's going up there to get it. <laughs> Adrian, Jerks Henry, bass player. Started playing music in church from a tender age of six. Discovered music more in high school and decided to go to college and it's just been great ever since, touring and all of that. Working with great people like Diana, Dwayne Stevenson, Beanman, Dean Fraser. So I'm Chris McDonald and I'm the keyboard player that worked on Diana Rutherford's album. I started playing from when I was 15 years old. I'm a self-taught person. Well, my name is Ken Booth, that's a singing name, and my full name is Kenneth George Booth. Uh, I'm in this business now for 51 years. We guys have track records, you know, make up great contribution to the development of this music. I'm already a success, spiritually speaking now, health-wise, and this is the key to, to human beings. Right away, I fell in love with her singing. Ken Booth, I like the soul, Mr. Soul, a real deep soul. I was blown away by her voice first. The 
Yes, the music is, is, is that language where we can um, communicate worldwide without no bond. That's through seven notes, as in the seven day of the Sabbath, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I met Diana on, while I was on tour with Jimmy Cliff in Europe. I saw this girl singing in French <laughs> and I said, why this girl bad? And then I found out she was a Jamaican. She just need a good Jamaican band behind her now. <laughs> My name is Christopher Downer. I've been a percussionist for the past 17 years. My name is Vivian Scott, son of Oswald Scott, trumpet player. I did one thing with, with Dennis Brown. The international acts I did, um, Benny King, Robert Flack. Yes, um, wow. Quite a few, quite a few, quite a few. Four, two, six, eight, ten, eight, four. I'm Stephen Stewart. I'm uh, here at Harry J Studio. I do production here, and today I'm actually engineering on Dana's album. Four, two, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty. It, it may sound funny, but. In Jamaica right now, it's very difficult to find a studio with a track count to record this amount of musicians. People normally use like eight tracks, but now on this project, we had to use a lot of tracks because 12 musicians together we had to search a studio who have the right track count. Normally, the studio, what they do, they have this amount of tracks, like maybe 40 tracks, and then they use only the, the eight first one, but the rest of them now, they start get dirty years after year. So when, when they start to use them again, you, you find out you have some nice problems. So you have to clean up that. We had to stop recording because we have system failure, I guess. So something just never go right in terms of the technicalities, so we decided to do it again two days time. That's how it goes, such is life. Yeah? We we'll eat chicken instead and be merry. Yeah. <laughs> What I'm doing? We had a little um, studio uh, malfunction and we had to reschedule, you know. The first day that was set up, between patching lines and everything and so on, it was a, a little difficult. And um, I think there was a problem with our hard drive, so uh, eventually we said, let's um, keep the setup and do it in the next earliest day possible. Monday! 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 We came in and things were ready. And of course, as we we're about to go, sure enough, um, somebody passed the cable and, and the, the electronics went haywire expect, with, the, with one of the interfaces. But um, we were very blessed, we were lucky we got it going and the musicians just got it, you know, I think we captured something special.
Well, just Eddie Cherry, that is Stephanie and Tori, the background goes for this. And then uh, the foundation here, um, some eyeshadow from this, because you want the smoky eyes here, mix this and this. The first day that we had to postpone, I mean, um, you, know, you know, we always have issues sometime with recording, I mean. There's an ongoing joke about people availability. Kenra are going to ask you a serious question and he's looking and say, what are you doing for Tuesday on the 24th? <laughs> <laughs> and that ongoing joke of asking of randomly what we're doing on any specific day of the week. Oh, your time stay. <laughs> Oh, your time stay for Wednesday. Wednesday come, see him joke. <laughs> I am not good on Wednesday, so you better keep this recording right now. <laughs> so it's just a joke uh, for the, the project, you know? The recording engineer, when I say I want everything live, they say, no, it's not the way to do it no more. Now we do it like that, you have to have the fat sound. I say, no business but the fat sound, man. We want that live thing. If the instruments leak in the mics, it's okay. We are going to work with that. That is the sound we used to get in the 60s and 70s, you know, so we go for that. <laughs> I'm known as an engineer, yes. I'm also known as a musician. I've, um, you know, produced albums coming back from Third World, Freddie McGregor, Steel Pulse. I played with Toots and the Metals for some time. I also was band leader for Burning Spear. Then I went to work for Bob Marley at um, Tough Gang Hope Road. I was the engineer there um, for a few years and then when Bob died I got the opportunity to work for Stevie Wonder in LA. Uh, Michael Jackson, I've had the opportunity to work for him directly but he definitely came here when he was in Jamaica and did some rough tracks. Tapes are somewhere around there. Come, 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 come. Everybody, oh, well, everybody well, well. in. Everybody in. In, in, in. Because when I read for blood class, I leave it here. blood class. Bombo clad. <laughs> The music where people read it from Jamaica, from, from the 60s, 70s, is some music where it used to be live. People play together, you get this, these vibes, this, this, you know? So I said, let's do it like back in the days, and that was the idea, you know?
Sly Dunbar always talk about this type of experience from a Channel One days. Sly say he, he just wish we could go back to the Channel One days of having everybody, especially in the rhythm section, recording the same time because just the, com the camaraderie and the sheer vibe between the bass and drum and the keyboard and guitars, everybody eye contact and feeding off each other spirit. You know what I mean? And, and when separated with the keyboard, guitar and bass in the engineering room and the drummer is in the recording room. It's, it's not the same spirit, I same feel when it comes out. And say that, pretty, pretty. My name is Alba Rosi. I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an artist, reggae artist, originally from Italy. I met Diana around 2002 and 2004. I used to work at G-Jam studio. I was the in-house producer slash engineer. I was blessed to work with Diana. Sometimes it was easy to work, sometimes not. Sometimes she would cry, you know. I remember with my, at that time, call it co-producer. Co he, was, he wanted the song a certain way, but Diana wanted to do it a different way. So sometimes it was like a rough, and sometimes she said, Yo, I don't want to do it again on this and that. <laughs> Diana, tough, you know, still. Diana had a song that was playing on the radio a whole lot. I won a song, you know. So there was a competition out on the road, and the guys draw Diana's song on me. They played to try to kill my song. So I said, Yes, you can do that. This is my daughter. So I went. Into the bed. Then I was probably about 11, 12 at the time. And I went home, woke up Diana and took her to the session and let her do the song live and kill that song. <laughs> you helped me take my dreams from ideas into reality. Now I'm living in the light you saw for me when I couldn't see. I could, that I would break down all that seemed like barriers. I found my strength because you loved me. I'm 
myself around you I don't need pretense We share our joys, we share our fears We laugh and cry together You're my joy
the more I sing, the more I get into it and the more I lose myself, that's the time the true music start come out of me. The true feeling. That's the time I really connect with what I'm saying and can bring across the message in the song. But if you have to ask me to, oh, do that again. Record it again. Stop. Oh, you never sing that key the correct. Do it again. I kind of lose the whole vibe and the performance not the same. You can't lie with music. Anytime over a strain at Myrna, she said to me, Diana, you just have to stand naked in front of people when you're on stage if you want to connect with them truly, and that's true. caring and like looking out for other people that's the beautiful realms and that's the riches and that's what we delve in so i think jamaica is being rich because earth is naturally rich and the people they're strong cultural and they maintain an indigenous culture from that time until then despite all the mishaps throughout life it is a beautiful paradise anybody come here them now and go home <laughs> As much as them promote it internationally that it's one of the most violent places for a small island. Yeah, we have a lot of violence here, but that's not all. The way we touch people and impact on their lives and able to help people pass. Some struggles in them life, I think music play a vital part. With music, you have less disease, people more happy, them happy them when they go home. Life just much more, much easier to deal with.
I think this is my top recording session to date in the history of me being in an industry. I love when positive energies come together and there was not even a hint of anything weighing it down. It was just beautiful music. The industry, I think, lacks that. Just bring a positive energy to whatever space you're going in and the music will just soar. You don't have to fight it. You don't have to, you don't have to fight for inspiration. The inspiration will just come once you come with that um, um, positive attitude. From the beginning to the end, it was just positive vibration, positive energy. It felt like family, it felt like a family time together and everybody was just there with positive energy and a great vibe. It was a nice experience. She asked me to do a song with her as a duo, both of us together. And it's a lovely song, oh, the words, and she's a good writer. She's, a, she's all around now. You know, she, she's a good lead singer, 100, and she can do background vocals and harmony. Happy feet dancing to a reggae beat. Yeah. Tune into this positive vibration. My people! So you're bad enough. Yeah, why? You know, it's on the whole album. Don't resist, let the music take you over Over and over again Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up Get up, get up, get up and feel it My people Feel the earth vibrating Can't you see? Can't you see? This empty of the night My people Yeah. Thank you, Lord. The rest of our eyes, Imperial Majesty. That was fun. Love to sing. You know, this man and him family. Great singer. Lovely singer, this. On a schedule like for Wednesday. Are you for Wednesday? On a schedule like for Wednesday, bro. All right. Can I sit you on the mic for me now? Alright. Try not to sing still. <laughs> Looking at the mirror, I'm pleased to be me. Yeah, me sweet like a honeycomb, like bees. Guys just a fall around, and I dash them number. And I big me holler back, you don't get enough of my mocha. Pop, 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 pop your neck. Yeah, that's me. Open your eyes, no, you can't believe it's really. Don't hate me, cause I'm beautiful. Oh, yeah, she's got it, she's got it. She's fierce and dangerous. Don't She's got it, she's got it Fierce and dangerous Watch her know You're just mad Cause I'm living my life like I'm supposed to Living it up, living it up, living it up I know you wanna be me Gift wrapped and placed in a box Bet you couldn't walk my path Get old Khaleesi I would them a try bun When I'm the mother of dragons Don't hate me cause I'm beautiful Oh yeah, she's got it, she's got it and dangerous Don't hate me cause I'm beautiful Oh yeah, she's got it, she's got it Fierce and dangerous Diana, she's sweet and rough, same time So we have to know, if you, you know, deal with her
One of the reasons why this album is so special is because I, I think I became a new person after having my little girl, Mizoui Anita Sheaf. She's now two years old and just being a mother and having a greater responsibility in life, she just inspires me. You know, she, she's so fond of everything that I do. I think I'm a super superhero. <laughs> There's a mommy, are you a sing? Every pretty lady she see on a, on a picture, Mommy, that's you! No matter if the lady, Indian, Chinese, black, white, the lady just have to be pretty and glowing and have a certain presence. And I think, yeah man, she just inspired me to be this person for her. So, being this person for her, meaning that I'm going to pursue my career and be the, do, go for my dreams so I can, in turn, tell her, baby girl, you can go for your dream because I'm going for mine. She's a young star and um, she's on her way to glory. <laughs> I'm working with their husband on this album, you know, he's professional. I think he knows what to do with Diana Voice. The combination is great. Looking forward to a great See album. Light shining, you're beautiful. The first which is, is love, which is life. A love created life. Hush, baby, so shining, you're beautiful. generation to be to be recording that way
I work with pretty ladies in a change, you know. Let's <laughs> <laughs> look at the man, they're going to have a rope, you know.